Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Reapy Ron, and today we're going to be playing some more Deep Rock Galactic. Today we're going to be trying out another one of our overclocks for our new weapons. This time we're going to be looking at the Sludge Blast, which is an unstable overclock for the new Corrosive Sludge Pump. This one makes it so all of your charge shots act like a shotgun, but it has lower charge rate, uh, longer reload time, and reduced magazine overall uh, and ammo. So, to combat this, we've kind of set this up. So I'm going with better air pressurization. This just helps with the shotgun blast. It makes it much more consistent, I've found. I have tried the uh, high-capacity tanks, and that works perfectly fine as well. Um, I really haven't tried the air-sensitive compound, but it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense with this build, simply because we're mostly going to be using the shotgun to deal damage, and then the puddles are kind of going to be an afterthought. I don't see why it wouldn't be good, but uh, I'm not using it here. Uh, extra damage, because it's just probably our best option here in Tier 2. Uh, more ammo, so we can kind of counteract the amount of ammo that we're losing. Uh, improved spooling mechanism, so we have a faster charge time. It's still not as fast as it could be, but it's still pretty quick. And then the slowdown, although I found that the armor breaking is pretty good too. The This acid, not so much. I haven't found that one to be as useful. For secondary, I'm taking my EPC. This is mostly just going to be for mining and persistent plasma, so I can deal damage to targets over time um, kind of standard usual build that I run with it nothing too special there for perks I'm running kind of my usual ones for drill or at least when I play solo deep pockets uh, vampire thorns those ones I pretty much keep all the time heightened senses and dash heightened senses would probably switched out for field medic um, or really anything else would be fine satchel charges for mining drills for dealing damage um, impact axes to make better use of vampire and the usual thing that I'm running for my armor. Alright, so we're going to be doing a Hazard 5 mining mission in the Fungus Bog. This uh, could go really bad, because the Fungus Bog can kind of suck at times. Alright, so, uh, let's begin. Alright, here we are in the Fungus Bog. Let's begin. Oh, Bosco. Yeah, get to mining, Bosco. Simple mining mission. As long as we don't have, like tons of goo everywhere that's not our own goo. I don't think this one will be too bad. If we do end up getting that, this this one could kind of suck. Oh, hey, we got something down here. That's cool. This is, uh, is this a bitter gym or is this the cube? This is the cube, okay. I always get those two mixed up. Oh, and we got bugs coming. Shot got him. Shot got him now. Oh, alright. Yeah, that's not too bad. It's eating away at just about everything. Then we'll use the persistent plasma to eat away everything else. Swarm on a direct ah, swarm, Get okay. Ready. Molly. Sit still. Molly. I told you to sit still. There's no reason for you to be moving. Blue. <laughs> there we go. I'll just fire our shotgun in there. This one does seem to be like the most aggressive version of the sludge pump that I've tried. All the others seem kind of passive. And it's kind of cool that I think every class now has a shotgun. <laughs> At least with the right overclocks. Because Salvo is practically a shotgun as well. Yeah, get rid of that. This one's also pretty good against Magterra, which is pretty awesome. Alright. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I missed my shot. There we go. Oh, I don't have my dash up anymore. Okay. That's fine. The stream of incoming enemies is practically eradicated, right. and you're still alive. Luckily we got this big open area to run around in. Huh. I am running out of shots though. It's a little bit concerning. <laughs> Just a little bit, though. There we go. Get some health back. 
Take that flea. Yeah, <laughs> just keep on running. Oh, I'm out of shots. No oh, boy. Alright, we got a swarm. I got a hidey hole to stand in, but I've got no ammo. Which you know I've heard is kind of an issue against a horde. So uh let's see if I can grab this in time. Nope. <laughs> All right, boss, go pick me up. <laughs> Might have enough time to grab it after this, though. Maybe. Oh, yeah. No ammo. Yeah, well, this is annoying. No. Molly. You really do pick the worst spots to go. Yeah, oh, bunch of stuff. Alright. Just try to get over here then. Oh, wow. What the heck? Why is it. Yeah, okay. Oh, alright. I don't know what hit me. Apparently everything. Apparently everything's here. Why did all of a sudden everything decide to be here? Instead of elsewhere. Oh. Okay. We're nearly done. I did go down in that other room again, which kind of sucked. But... And I hear a warden, which also kind of sucks. But I think this is the last little bit of this that I need. I may just want to get this done and go and just forget about the secondary. So far this build seems pretty decent against groups. It seems really good against single targets. All good and well done team. Activate your transponder via the mule and get back home. Yeah, let's get to going. Sending in the drop pod. Let's get out of here. Unfortunately, I just don't have the health or the supplies to go for the secondary. Drop pod has arrived. Alright. Let's go then. Drill! Drill our way there. Nope, stay back, Bugs. Stay back, Bugs. Seems really good against Magterra, too. Which, that's pretty cool. I do run out of ammo fairly fast with the shotgun, though. So. Drop pop departing in T minus four minutes. Get out of the way, Bugs. So That's we fine. We can overheat our drills. Alright, then let's get out. Unfortunately, no secondary, but that's okay. Commencing. Good work. Had some setbacks throughout that, like Molly getting in the way, Molly getting in the way, <laughs> and uh, yeah, just getting swarmed there a couple times. But other than that, everything else went okay. Yeah, I went down four times there. Dang. Not one of my best ones. Hey, it did count towards my daily though. All right, so that'll do it for this video. Uh, this was checking out the Sludge Blast. 
which I enjoy. I think it's a cool uh, overclock. I don't think it's necessarily one of the best ones for the Corrosive Sludge Pump, unless you want to play like super aggressive. This would probably also be good on um, Dreadnought missions, I imagine, because this would do more damage than most of the other uh, Sludge Pump variants, I think. Uh, or at least it would make it so you could do more direct damage faster. Um, still don't know if it would beat out like the Cryo Cannon for fighting Dreadnoughts, but it would be an alternative if you don't want to take that. And uh, if you don't have something like Face Melter with the Flamethrower or maybe Sticky Flames with the Flamethrower and you want to use something different, then I can see it being pretty useful. So tell me your thoughts about the uh, Sludge Blast in the comments below. I'd be really interested in hearing them. We still have some other overclocks to go over too. I don't think we've gone over either of the balanced ones or one of these clean ones too. Clean ones are good, but um, I don't know. I don't even think I've tried this one yet. So maybe I haven't tried either of these. Let's try them both out. So thanks everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Special thanks to the supporters of this channel. These are my members over here on YouTube and my patrons over on Patreon. They get early access to videos like this. And if you would like to be a part of that, you can. There is a link down in the description. Thanks. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.